on to this. Yo, can Dana White do that? Hey, fellas, so you know I fight on July 25th in Nashville. Well, about two weeks ago, I went down to Florida and watched Karate Combat. It was an incredible event. They're some of the greatest fights I've ever seen. I want to show you one of these fights. Now, if you just saw, there's a riot that I got myself involved with. I want to show you the fight that led up to that riot. You have to tell me who you thought won at the end, though. It's one of the greatest fights I've ever seen. It was fantastic. They both almost gassed in the third round. And in karate combat, if it's a draw, it goes to a sudden death round. It wasn't a draw. The guy I thought won did win, but I was so, like, I didn't care who they said. If it was the other guy that won, it's okay. That, that was great, too. But you need to watch this fight. I, I wouldn't, I'll talk to you between rounds, but I wouldn't tell you to watch something unless I thought you'd enjoy it. The fight's incredible. <laughs> said he may have just graduated with a master's degree, but he wasn't smart enough to not take this fight. Oh, uh, so okay. Esparza with the war of words, but 22% of our token holders at home are putting their bets on the 31-year-old tonight. He said he's going to use his Mexican style of fighting. That means pure pressure and pure heart. He will absolutely go forward, throw in volume, and get stuck into this fight. Luis Melendez, as you heard, a protege. Coming in to this one of Anthony Pettis. He picked up a decision win against Jose Ferreira uh, at kickback one in January. Fighters. So both these guys London. fighting to stay undefeated here on Karate Combat. And today's event is sponsored by the fastest growing Web3 game ecosystem, Pixelverse. Play there, player versus player fighting game, Pixel Tap, where you can challenge 10 million daily players and earn rewards directly using your Telegram account. Ooh, exciting. Here we go, boys. Yeah, this is going to be very fast, guys. What do you mean, like over quickly? No, it's good. The, 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 the striking. Pace. The fast pace. Melendez's kicks are crazy. Oh. Speaking of Melendez, his, uh, his guy, Showtime Pettis, has a fight coming up on July 6th versus Chris Avia as well. Oh, that was a good entry from Melendez. Really timed the, the grab of the leg well. Smart defense there by Esparza. Esparza uh, with the straight yeah, blitz. Oh, yeah. Very blitz. smart. Oh! Big hit. Oh! Shots him with the spinning back fist on the run! Esparza trying to recover here! And he gets in on the leg to buy him some time. Oh, wow. A running away spinning wow, back fist. That was, that, was a, that was a combo with the knee first. Yeah, now it's in his head, too. Oh, oh big knee from Esparza. The head movement of Melendez saves him. Right up against the pit wall in front of our commentary position here. Yeah, what did I tell you about the speed? Yeah, Melendez <laughs> again with the top position. Trying to bounce the head of Esparza off the canvas here. And a lot of strength and power in the clinch for the man from Puerto Rico. Yeah, Esparza is definitely affected by the hits that he had. Yeah, you can see all yeah. the movement has gone from Esparza here. Yeah, he's fighting an automatic pilot. Yeah, standing very flat-footed, but he tries to find an opening with some powering of the hands there. He's got about a minute to nice make it there. to the round break for recovery. Melendez, nice cross hoop. from Melendez, they were a little bit too slow, otherwise I would have maybe been hit. Oh, nice. Sparza landed a couple there. That, that, was, a, that was a flyby hit. <laughs> <laughs> nice kick to the body, beautifully done. Nice Sparza. Oh, good combination, but Melendez too fast on the back foot. Clubbing right hand over the top. And Esparza again, he's still trying to come forward here. That oblique kick to the knee, trying to stop him in his tracks. Oh! And he the shot. Well, Esparza gets a big shot off. Melendez wrestles up. Wow, that was nice. This, oh, is, the this is the fight of the night. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, what wow. a first three minutes here. Only 10 seconds left. Jump, 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 jump the leg. Go, 
Liverpool. Will Esparza was on rocky feet for half the round, but he's come back with a vengeance. Yeah, and he's still a little bit unstable, I think, after the minute. Oh, yeah, he don't. Oh. <laughs> So something to keep in mind when watching these fights, damage is not the main criteria, aggression is. They change that from almost every other martial art competitive sport out there. If you're being aggressive, but not landing the big shots, you get more points than being less aggressive and landing the big shots. And it's really helped keep the pace of karate combat moving forward. So I'm actually, even though I'm not a high output guy, I'm a power guy, I enjoy watching these high output fights. I need somebody to hype me up like that, bro. Right? Yeah, wow. but don't do it with lies. <laughs> he's not done. I take it you two don't, you two don't think Melendez no, is done. No, he's not looking no. at him. Does he look done to anybody? I don't know that you give that type of advice to a fighter walking You should never do that. Bas, how frustrating is that stomping kick to the, the thigh in the oblique? It's oh. super annoying. If you do that at the moment, he's loading up. Oh! Oh, what? Oh. Wait, was, was that a trip? Was that he land on the way in? I don't know. Slip? I mean, you know what people love more than a big knockout is a come from nice. behind win. Yeah, yeah, for real. Oh, there's that crazy kick again. You saw Melendez just land that right. Yeah, Sparza still looking a little flat-footed from how he started this fight. Big jumping knee from Melendez, but it does seem like he's taking the wind out of the sails of uh, uh, Melendez a little bit. Yeah, it was a lot of power that he threw out, both of these guys. Oh, they run up away. following up. Well, I think he's still has power. I think he said Melendez put, oh! some, put some respect on my name. <laughs> yes. Dabbed him with a jab. Yes. These are some. Oh! And Esparza's starting to find a groove now. He yeah. said he was going to lean into that Mexican style he's of fight. He's flowing. He's got the hands down. He's flowing. Uh, he's got to be a little bit careful, though. Yeah. Wow, beautiful inside. Nice outside. We're only halfway through this Whoa. second round and actually halfway through this fight as a whole. That crossbody with a hook, you should lower yourself on the cross so the opponent is looking over his gloves to you. They will open them up at him. Right up over the guard. Esparza looks a little bit more gassed, yeah. I would say. But he's, he's landing uh, now. He's landing. He's in the flow state. Oh! oh there he again! Yeah. <laughs> he's doing it all the time. Smart, man. I would do the same thing. This is just good oh. viewing. Fun, fun, fun. Well, they're, they're both kind of playing mind games with each other, right? Like, neither one is backing down here. He just took it and kept going. Not where you want to get caught. Right over the eye. Boy, there he goes, back. 30 okay. seconds left. Dude, if it keeps going like this, this could go to the fourth round. <laughs> I mean, we still got another full three minutes. That's like what that. I mean, but I mean, still. I mean. A takedown nice in, in defense from Melendez to slow it down. They're going to see out the second round here. Probably get a quick check on the eye of Esparza as well. Make sure you guys tell me in the comments who you have winning each round. Because these are so close. <laughs> Towards the end of the round, they both started getting a little tired. But the whole of the round, I was having so much fun watching this fight. I mean, I was into it. Like, oh my, it just went top to bottom, to the middle to... It had everything in it. The big shots, the speed shots, the spinning shots. This is a fight I would show people if I'm trying to get them hooked into karate combat. So tell me, who has what round in your eyes? That knocks people out. <laughs> <laughs> you would know better than me, boss. Yeah, last well, round, round, just think round. about a Mark Kerr knee coming at your face. Let me tell you, like Luis Melendez said, he felt his opponent keeps his hands too low and that he would tire after the first round. I wonder if he's thinking that now yeah. as we enter the third. Well, he, had, he thought he had to fight. He unloaded himself in the first round. And that threw out too much power. Those 78% of token holders at home probably getting a little bit nervous right about now. I don't know, Melendez is still moving very quickly. Yep. 
but as far as it's doing damage, bro. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you've got to say, Melendez landed a lot of very good shots. Esparza just managed to stare them down a bit more, but they still landed. The thing with Esparza right now is that he does have too much energy, so he picks his shots very well. So every shot he throws, he wants to connect with. And of course, we all want that, but still, if you're in that state, you tend to t aim a little bit better. Wild indeed is karate combat with bouts like this. Melendez and Esparza throwing down in the third round Ooh, here. That was a nice little kick there by Melendez. Oh, and Me Melendez is just throwing combos on the end. Melendez has controlled this round so far. Yep. And if he keeps going like that, he might win the fight. Yep. Oh, good fake. Spars has got to stand up and he's got to dig deep here and do, and do something meaningful. Yeah, he's going to lean on that heart that he said would win him the fight. This is your chance right now. He needs to land shots. Nothing like watching the bloody guy win. Oh, this could be a bad knee with the hands clasped behind the head. Spars is breathing real heavy. Uh, this is what it's all about. Everything you've got for the final minute. Ay, ay, ay. It's one of those bouts that it sucks someone's going to lose. Nice job oh, there by Esparza. Oh, Esparza backs him up now. Nice knee to the body. He got him. Oh, no. Yeah, the yeah, knee that to the a, body that might was, have had it. That was a legal knee. Esparza looked at his corner and said, how much time is left? I think he knows he's got a flurry here. He gets turned around in the corner, though. Go to the body. That's what he should do. Go for the body. Oh, oh and he's eating shots. Oh, this is good work for Melendez. Oh, oh he lands. He flies back. He's standing up. Melendez's got to keep on. Oh, this is a firefight with 20 oh, seconds wow. left. Oh, the snake back in left. Two back fists. Wow. This is what karate combat is all about. Oh, look at it. Wow. Wow. Swing it out. Let's go. Three seconds left. Well, this might go to a fourth round, guys. Oh, let's hope. This might go oh, to a fourth. Whoa! What happened? Esparza putting a stamp on the end. Melendez taking a moment to recover. Well, I have to remind you again, if this is a draw or a split decision, we don't do that here. We do sudden death fourth rounds. <laughs> Melendez slow to rise to his feet here. All right, round three. I know who won round three. At least I think you do. Because the guy who got tired, <laughs> he landed a double back fist. The impossible to land double back fist. He landed it. I, I love the round. I love the whole fight. I, who do, now, before before you watch who's announced the winner, who do you think won? I, I, I had so much. If... if the first fight I ever watched, which got me into karate combat, was um, uh, uh, Daniel Raymond's fight. If had I seen this one, I would have been just as hooked. And remember, karate combat will not let a fight end on a split decision. It goes to a bonus round if it's a split decision, which is maybe the greatest rule of all times. Okay. Well, this is going to break someone's heart. Let's find out who it's going to be. And your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Luis Melendez! Oh, trouble in the corner, trouble in Paris. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Well, the house of... Well, you got to say, we don't want to see this. The, the corner Jeez. of Willis Barza did not... Alfie's gone. Uh, our heavyweight jump. Sam Alfie. Our heavyweight jump. got him in the trunk. <laughs> oh, oh, President Awesome getting involved to... Uh, oh, and President... He is... 
Wow, he's out. He choked him out. He choked him out. Wow. I have never seen scenes like this. Willis Barnes' corner decided to pick a fight and try and start a riot after the bout, and he went night-night. Yo, yo, can Dana White do that? Wow. Can Dana White <laughs> I don't do know that? And remember, Karate Combat will not let a fight end on a split decision. It goes to a bonus round if it's a split decision, which is maybe the greatest rule of all times. Last question I have for you. Who won the fight? Did the judges get it right? I think they did, but it was so close. I don't care if it went the other way.